Hello everybody and welcome to episode 6 of the text-based tutorial game series. And today we're going to be looking at adding sprites and different things to the background of your game. So if I can load this up right now, you'll see that we just have a simple background and there's nothing really going on. But we want to add something special. We want to add like maybe a face here so you know you're talking to someone or a castle. There's all kinds of different things that we could add. First of all, we're going to need a brand new object. Let's simply create object and make it called object image. And then inside our main level, we can also include this. Next, we're going to want to create a few simple sprites. And the important thing is that you give them specific names. All right, I created just two simple sprites here, and I named them SPR underscore human and SPR underscore castle. So now I can just assign this one to whatever I want. It doesn't really matter. And the most important thing to remember is to uncheck visible, because sometimes we're going to want this visible, sometimes we're not going to. So we also are going to need a step event, so then we can see what is currently active. Because if you remember, what's happening here is that we're switching between the different phrases here. actual name of the current text that we're on is called value. Now we're going to have to make this global value because we're going to be using it in object image. When I set something to global, that just means that variable is accessible from more than one location. So currently it's only really accessible in controller text. But by doing this, I'm making it accessible everywhere. So I just need to see if there's any more places where this is used. Okay. Now is it used in here? Nope. So now we can just use it here. If global.value equals a certain value, then we want to make it visible. We want to make this object visible so you can actually see that it's a sprite human. So to do that, we'll just set visible equals to true. Okay, so the time that we want to see this human sprite is when we press just the letter E, because that's when it comes up with, are you a human? So for that, we can do that, and we can say else visible equals false. Now let's see if this works. So yes, I pressed enter, and that showed up. Now that we have that, we might want to put it down here, and we might want to stretch this out a little. All right, so let's see how this looks. And it needs to be moved over just one, I think. And that should be good. So I also have the sprite castle. So what we're going to want to do is actually set sprite index to sprite human in this case and then set sprite index equal to sprite castle and then we can actually move this to another else because all we're doing here is checking just a bunch of different things so if this isn't true but this is true then then we're going to want to show a castle oops okay global value equals equals epe and of course we need visible to equal true and i just realized i made a mistake here it needs to be e y e so let's try that again. 
Are you a human? Yes. And then you can see here, there's a castle. Now there aren't any animations. You might want to watch other videos that show how to do animations with sprites, but this is really just a basic introduction to get you started so you can add nice little images to all your scenes. And if you want to do more stuff, you can just go inside each of these if statements and you can add all kinds of things. You can add motion, you can add just tons of different things to really liven up your game. So thank you for watching.